एम एस रामाया यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ अप्लाइड साइंसेस हेलो फ्रेंड्स With this experiment we are finding out the amount of water required to produce a cement paste of standard consistency apparatus wicket mold 80 mm diameter 40 mm length wicket plunger 10 mm diameter 50 mm length wicket apparatus glass plate measuring jar weighing balance The standard consistency of a cement paste is defined as that consistency which will permit a wicket plunger having 10 mm diameter and 50 mm length to penetrate to a depth of 35 mm from the top of the mold. The wicket apparatus is used to find out the percentage of water required to produce a cement paste of standard consistency. For finding out initial setting time final setting time and soundness of cement a parameter known as standard consistency has to be used procedure prepare a paste of weight quantity of cement 300 grams with a weight quantity of potable or distilled water starting with 26% water of 300 grams of cement take care that the time of gauging is not less than 3 minutes not more than 5 minutes and the gauging shall be completed before setting occurs the gauging time shall be counted from the time of adding the water to the dry cement until commencing to fill the mold fill the wicket mold with this paste the mold resting upon a non porous plate after completely filling the mold trim off the surface of the paste making it in level with the top of the mold The mold may slightly be shaken to expel the air. Place the test block with the mold together with the non-porous resting plate under the rod bearing the plunger 10 mm diameter. Lower the plunger gently to touch the surface of the test block and quickly release, allowing it to penetrate into the paste. This operation shall be carried out immediately after filling the mold. Prepare trial paste with varying percentages of water and test as described above until the amount of water necessary for making the standard consistency as defined above is obtained. Express the amount of water as a percentage by weight of the dry cement. Data collection and tabulation is as shown in the table. Hi students now we are going to do with the normal consistency of the cement experiment so what do you mean by normal consistency or standard consistency it is defined as that percentage of water which causes the consistency to a cement sample we call it as a normal consistency or standard consistency or in other uh, words it is that percentage of water which allows the wicket plunger needle to penetrate to a depth of 5 to 7 mm from the bottom of a mold or 35 to 33 mm from the top of a mold we call it as a standard consistency let us have a look at the apparatus required for the experiment the first apparatus is a weigh balance of 1 gram accuracy we require a mixing trowel i taken a mixing tray for mixing or preparing the cement paste stopwatch is required to note down the time cement measuring jar and also you just keen observe at this particular uh, apparatus this apparatus what we call it as a wicket apparatus this apparatus we are going to make use for determining the normal consistency of a cement and also initial and final setting time Let us go to the deep look of this particular apparatus. It is having a circular disc. So, to the circular disc, a plunger rod is attached. To a plunger rod, a graduated scale is attached, which is having a reading from zero to forty mm. Okay. So, this is. Hi, students. Now we are going to do with the normal consistency of the cement experiment. 
So, what do you mean by normal consistency or standard consistency? It is defined as that percentage of water which causes the consistency to a cement sample. We call it as a normal consistency or standard consistency. Or in other uh, words, it is that percentage of water which allows the Vicat plunger needle to penetrate to a depth of 5 to 7 mm from the bottom of a mold or 35 to 33 mm from the top of a mold, we call it as a standard consistency. Let us have a look at the apparatus required for the experiment. The first apparatus is a weigh balance of 1 gram accuracy. We require a mixing trowel. I taken a mixing tray for mixing or preparing the cement paste. Stopwatch is required to note down the time. Cement, measuring jar, and also you just keen observe this particular uh, apparatus. This apparatus, what we call it as a Vicat apparatus. This apparatus we are going to make use for determining the normal consistency of a cement and also initial and final setting time. Let us go to the deep look of this particular apparatus. It is having a circular disc. So to the circular disc a plunger rod is attached. To a plunger rod a graduated scale is attached which is having a reading from 0 to 40. So after taking 400 grams of cement I start varying the percentage of water. First what I am going to do is I am going to do the first trial for 20 percent of water. So, 20 percent of 400 grams is 80 ml. I am going to take up 80 ml of water in the measuring jar. Okay. What do I did is I taken 80 ml of water. I am going to Mix the water to the cement. Make sure that when you are mixing the water to the cement simultaneously on the stopwatch. The moment the water comes in contact with the cement, your stopwatch has to be started. What I am going to do is, I am going to mix the paste. What we are going to do? We had been mixed the uh, cement with the water and the cement pressure is ready. Make sure that your gauging uh, time should be less than 3 minutes. Okay. After preparing the cement paste, what I am going to do is, I am going to put the cement paste into the testing mould. What I will do is I add uh, around 50, 60 percent then what I am going to do I am going to just do the tamping to the mix ok what I am going to do I am going to add the remaining portion of the mix. Once again, I will give a gentle tamping.
The purpose of giving this stamping is the intervoids which is present in the cement paste has to be removed. So after preparing the mould, what we are going to do is, we are going to, uh, I will tell you about the needle which is required for this experiment. This particular needle we call it as a Vicat needle. It is having a diameter of 1 cm and the length of this is 5 cm or 50 mm. What I am going to do is, I am going to fix this to the Vicat apparatus. I am going to tighten this. Okay. After that, what I am going to do is, I am going to keep the specimen down here. And I am going to make sure that a specimen just touches the just touches the cement page. If you keenly observe, when your specimen just touches the cement page, the initial reading will be 40. Okay? Then what we are going to do is, we are going to make sure that this plunger is allowed to penetrate into the cement page. So you are going to get a 40 only as a reading because it is not attaining the normal consistency state. Okay. So, so note on the final reading, it is 40 only okay, because it is only lesser percentage of water, uh, it is not at achieve the consistency state. After this what we are going to do is, we take out this particular sample add excess 2 percent of water repeat the trial or else I am adding additional 4 percent of water and I will start mixing the cement paste in all your cases make sure that your gauging time should be less than 4 3 to 4 minutes So once again I am going to transfer mix to the mould.
So what I'm going to do is, after preparing the surface, I'm going to just smear off the top surface. So, after preparing the sample, once again I'm going to test it. So what I'll do is, I'll note down the initial reading, which is 40. I'll allow the plunger to penetrate to the sample. Okay. You observe the previous reading and this particular reading, this is 24 percentage water. In the previous case, for 20 percent, there is no much penetration, but you are now observing the penetration. Repeat the same trial, repeat the same procedure of adding the water and retesting till you are going to get a uh, settlement of 33 to 35 mm from the top of this or until you get a reading of 5 to 7 mm from the bottom scale. You need to keep on adding the percentage of water, okay? Like just I mix 4%, do the next trial for 1% interval, 1 percentage of water which gives you the exact uh, uh, depth of penetration 33 to 35 mm from the top of a mold, we call it as a normal consistency or standard consistency. This ends the normal consistency or standard consistency test. At MSR UAS, we spark your imagination unlike any other.